today we are going to see about key data access pattern using key data pages instead of using parameterized data pages we can use key data pages which is more efficient and performance is improved coming to key data page access it is available only for listed structure if you select a page structure then we will observe that we can, uh, there is no meaning of using key data page as you can see here when i have selected this uh, page structure the section has disappeared if i select as list then only that keyed pages access checkbox will appear so when you select access pages with user defined keys then only we can use key data page access and the mode should be read only for editable and savable this doesn't make any sense so when you it's like internal key we are passing the advantage of using key data page is same list data page d underscore position list same list data page we can use for getting all the list or the full list of positions and also getting a property value in one index that is same list page you can use for getting all the results and also a single result based on the key if the single if the key you can give one or more keys we can he give here if that key after giving that key and multiple rows are satisfying that condition and if you are getting multiple rows then you have to select allow multiple pages per key if you don't select this then only the first row will be displayed so if you see the key data page this is the overall structure this is a cache type wherein user will select the various details for example using a key data page it reduces the number of database transactions allowing the customer to view as many different combinations as they choose without affecting database performance if you don't use a key data page if you use a normal parameterized data page then for each different unique parameter value are going to pass then that say you may have already configured a data page which shows as report definition it is a parameterized data page and a parameterized report definition so whatever value are entering in the first drop down in the ui then that value will go as a parameter to the data page and that will go as a parameter to the report definition and that will go as a parameter in the query you will get the results and you will show but it but it causes multiple performance issues multiple db hits because for each per new parameter again source is run again it will hit a query in the database whereas in key data page you query the database and get a full list of values all possible rows all records you will get in store in this data page instead of passing as a parameter you pass the key whenever you pass the key that key will go to this data page and internally pega will search in the data page itself because this data page is a list type containing all the li list of all the rows so when you when the database searches based on the key and returns you the records so this is something like you know this is a non keyed access structure for example you have an insurance case and for you have to get the customer details email account address from some table customer table then you can use non key database because here you are not calling the data page multiple times for each new case you are calling this data page only once to get the customer details from the svr table so also the svr table is hit only once per case and also if you see two different insurance code cases the customer might be different in both the cases so data if you what you fetch in this case will not be the same as the data that you fetch here so in this case clearly you can use a non key data page access this will be the structure for non key data page access because there is only one interaction that is involved say for example you are having cascading drop down based on the value selected in the first drop down you need to populate the values in the second drop down based on the country chosen in the first drop down you need to populate the state in the second drop down so as you say if user keeps on changing the country country 1 country 2 country 3 then again you need not query database each time to get the list of states for that country 
in other words consider a case wherein you have vehicle you can select the vehicle manufacturer once you select the manufacturer make maruti or tata or, or ford then you will get the models related to that make selected in, in that case if you use you can use key data page to improve performance so that for multiple changes in the first drop down property you will, you will not go to the database we will go to the database only once for multiple changes in the first property we will go multiple times only to the key database see here only one line is there once once only we are interacting with database we will interact multiple times with the key database the key is the value entered in the ui so you can as you can see it is available only for list structure the key or keyed access is configured for databases with a list structure only the key or a combination of keys identifies a single item in the list the list type data page has multiple rows right px results of one px results of two like that data page name dot px results in that multiple results in that multiple pages each result is a page in that multiple pages it will return only one single item in the list based on the key or combination of keys which you give if the database returns single item rather than a list of items then there is no need for keyed access right because key access is only for to filter some record from the list no, scope should be thread only mode should be read only so to use a single key to identify multiple items in the list allow the allow multiple pages for key checkbox so say you are giving some key and that key returns multiple results then you have to select this this option is not selected and there are multiple matches only the first matching instance will be returned so this is the key which we need to specify apart from this you also need to configure a page list property with refer to a data page and you have to pass this as the key so now you are going to see a practical example so here uh, in the ui there is a position applied for field whenever i change this automatically job description is getting changed same thing we can achieve without keyed prejudices which is fully inefficient method that is what once you select this whatever uh, you are selecting that value if you see that will be stored in the clipboard in dot position applied for field so in py workway dot position applied for this will be stored that you have to send as a parameter to the to some d underscore position list data page if it is not defined as key data page for, for time being let's assume that it is a simple list data page then you have to give some parameters to this one of the parameter can be position selected for so that you can need to pass to this report definition in the as parameter and again you have to retrieve the data but now we are going to see the efficient way of doing this you by using key data pages one important interview question is what is the difference between parameterized data page and key data page the answer you can tell is a key data page front loads the data preloads the data from the data source and then uses one or multiple keys to locate and return matching instances the key data page is the best implementation when there are frequent unique queries before the information becomes stale so the key database serves as an alternative to having two separate data pages one page to return a list of items and a second page to return information about a single item in the list so we also need to reference the key data page in the page property using the selected keys so this is the configuration now i will be showing you how you are able to get this job description so if we go to the section position applied for property holds the value selected in the drop down for that pro property equivalent description we have to get for that just we are referring dot position dot job description so if you see this dot position page property its object type is the data class and in that we are referring to a data page the data page is nothing but our list data page once you select so if you see in our list data page for time being i will check out and i will remove the key and save so now it is a normal list type data page so now if i come to this position property and refresh 
I will check out this. So it should not ask for keys. So I will refresh it. As you can see here, if you save, you will get an error now. Why? Because here you are specifying the keys. Means you should give a you should like you should not give keys because earlier it was a key database. At the time only you can give the keys. So what you do, you just press down arrow. You need to give only a single page. See, because as you can see here, we cannot give DNS underscore position list. Why? Because this position property is a page type property, single page. Single page property, whenever you are referring to a data page or copying from, to, from a data page, you need to give the data page also a single type only. You cannot give a list because list type data, list type of data page, you, you need to give multiple results. But this property is a single page. How single page can point to multiple pages? Page list property can proper, uh, point to page list data page. Single page property can point to single data page. So here you should give only position. If you give list, it will throw error. Provide a data page of type page because this property type is also page. Or a data type of type list with keyed page access enabled and multiple pages per key disabled. Why? Because so now I will discard it so that it's like a key data pages is access is enabled. Once key data access is enabled, even though it is a list type data page, when you are passing the keys, it will not return full list. It will return only one record, one result, one page result. If you select this allow multiple pages per key, it means that it can, it can, uh, it can give multiple pages. It can give multiple results. See, referencing by key will return a page list. Again, it will return a page list. That's why what he is telling you either you give a single data page of type sing, uh, single uh, page type data page or you give a data page of type list with key data as is enabled and multiple pages per key disabled. Because if the key data enabled, multiple pages per key enabled, again it will become a list source. For page type property, source should be list type page only. So I think now you can save because we have enabled key access and did not check the hello multiple pages, uh, multiple rows per key also, pages per key. Hello multiple pages per key means it will result multiple results, multiple pages can be there in the output for the value matching with this keys value. So now you are not getting that error. So But now we have to give the parameter. Parameter of the key. Instead of parameters, we will have key for key data page. So for this, actually D underscore position list is a list type data page. Means it will have D underscore position list dot px results of one, D underscore position list dot px results of two. Like that, it will have multiple. So I can show you in the clipboard. In the clipboard, if you go to the data pages, because it is a thread level and read only, it will come under thread. So if you search for D underscore position, this is a D underscore position list. As the name says, it is a list type data page. So uh, PXOBJ class will be code by Galish. And also you can see the results. It has multiple results. Because it is a list type means list of pages. Page 1, page 2, page 3. PX rails of 1, PX results of 2, PX of three, results of 3. Number of PX rails is equal to number of rows in the database. Out of all these 18 rows, I want to select that row which, for which position applied for is junior software engineer and I want to get that description. So if you see row 1, position applied for is Say director. So now we will sell the select director. Description is changing. So now out of these 18 records, 
here this is auto we are automatically selecting that record for which position is directed that is first record in our case how it is done it is done internally you initially only from the database all 18 records you are getting instead of querying the database you are querying the key data page using the key so uh, Anyway, this property is nothing but dot position dot job description. Position is a page type property. It refers to a key data page with this key. So once you select in the UI director or marketing manager or QA analyst, that value will be sent as a key via this page property to this key data page. When you are sending that value, This key data, uh, this data let us say 20 rows or 18 rows in our case. It will check. It will check ID property in each of the clipboard page results, PX results. ID property set for PX results of one is matching with director. Then it will copy that entire PX results of one to position. Uh, if you select copy from a database, if you select refer to a database, then this position will be pointing to PX results of one in the underscore position list. Say you are selecting QA analyst, then QA analyst will be passed as parameter here. Here, we, we, in this, actually, it is like we are passing QA analyst. This QA analyst will go as a key to this key data page. Here, we will get QA analyst. Then it, this key data page will check out of this 18 px results which px result is having dot id as qa analyst so obviously px result of 18 that will be copied px result of so this position page will be pointing to px result of 18 internally in the ui so here we are using if you see the section we are referring dot position dot dot description so in the indirectly it is nothing but D underscore position list dot px results of 18. This is what feed page access internally is. And that, that equivalent job description will be displayed. So whenever you change the position applied for, you need to add a refresh condition on that dynamic layout dot position applied for changes so that refreshed value can get in job description field. Thank you.